Hi guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. So in this video, I want to show you how I took this space, which is my formal living and dining room combination, and took split it up, and I took my formal living room and turned it into a small craft space. It was a room that uh, no one really was using. We was just sitting, using it as a sitting room. And so I turned it into this space here that you see. So why don't you come on in and let me show you how I did it. So this is my foyer section in my home as you come into the front door. I took a divider, a screen, one to uh, separate the foyer from where my small crafting space will be. And then when you go around the corner, you'll see that I use another divider and section off from the dining area. And this is my formal dining room. And this is how I section it off using two dividing screens. Now around the corner I have two accent chairs and a small table here with a mirror that I put up next to the screen to help stabilize it and also it creates a sitting spot if one wants to uh, sit instead of sitting at the dining table. Although I made this space and created this space about two and a half years ago, this is what it looked like before I organized it. Uh, it basically was a space I was using to do some of my crafts and just to store things, but it wasn't organized and uh, not quite functional for me. So over the last couple of weeks, I would say this summer, I did videos to create storage spaces to make this space more functional. Now as you enter into this space, the first part is my office slash prayer space. And this is where uh, I do my prayer time, where my TV and my computer is. And it's an area for me to just do office stuff. Now I measured this space and the space is pretty much a little over 12 feet by 8 feet. So it's a decent amount of space to uh, create a crafting area. And this is the door beginning of the area as you come in. And as you see here on this side of the screen I added some sheer to give a little more privacy. And I did that by push pinning using stick pins with the sheer curtains up to the ceiling to just filling the area where the screen stopped. So here I have semi privacy, but it is enough privacy for me to do um, crafting and plus it cuts off the area from the front door. Now this is the area where I keep my uh, cutting machine and where I have all of my card stocks stored here and um, what I used was just items from the office uh, section in any office store or from uh, the store where you can uh, place all of your papers so basically that's what I use to separate and uh, section off all of the colors of my card stock and if I'm not mistaken, these are what they use to organize files. These are like the file organizer that you would use in the office. Over here in this area on the small shelf, at the bottom, I am storing my canvases, my blank canvases. And then in these containers, I am storing my jewelry making items and all of my crafting items that I use often and then at the top 
you'll see here I am storing in my uh, paints and my glue, my hot glues. And this is a caddy that I made for my small paint bottles. And I did a video a few weeks ago showing how I made that in this hot glue gun caddy. So with this shelf, I am storing the rest of my bottles of acrylic paint. Some of them are taller, my Mod Podge, and uh, some of my other smaller miniature bottles of paint and stain, all of my stains. Now here is what I did with my uh, spray paint cans. In my video I was doing with uh, that last video about the paints, I had them in a basket so this is the best thing I decided to do so I can see exactly what I have is place them um, on the shelf and it gives me a better visual of what I have. And in these bottom, on the bottom in these baskets I have all of my yarn and uh, different type of things stored there. And then here's my brushes and sponges and things I need for my paint. Over here, this uh, shelf is basically a shelf that I used um, in my actual closet. It's to section off and to store shoes. However, I'm using it to put all of my vinyl for uh, my vinyl stick and iron on paper for my cutting machine. Now over in this space, uh, I did a little different over here from before. I'm using baskets and bins to store items like this um, metal basket that I got from the Dollar Tree. I spray painted it, added the burlap. And I just add my stapler in there with the staplers. And then this bin I'm using to store the rest of my uh, glues. And that must have been my granddaughter's adding those pieces in there. I don't know. But anyways, this is a basket that I have here for my tapes. All of the tapes that I use for crafting, I just throw them in there. And this area is basically the area that I did a whole video on organizing my uh, crafting ribbon. And I made the baskets uh, and put them in there. Check out that video, it shows how I did that. And I used these uh, curtain, shower curtain rods, tension rods to uh, hold the larger ribbons on. Now, in that video, I used up to five pounds for Velcro and I just want to say that I did ended up having to add a heavier one. I went up to 15 pounds. So if you look at that video and you do that, change it to 15 pounds because it will hold a little better when you go to pull on the ribbon. But other than that, it functions really well. And that's my ribbon area here. And then of course I have another basket here that I have my uh, tool and ribbon in. And uh, just items that uh, I'm storing that I use often, items like this from the Dollar Tree, I put in the baskets. Okay, and then I have my push light stored in that bin that I use on of my numbers and letters for parties. And this is a, a little bin that I'm using to store some of my wooden items. I don't have a lot of wooden because I don't do a lot of wooden crafts. So I just put them in there. Now this is uh, where I've stored the, what I did, this pegboard hack. I did a video on that where I'm storing all of my pens and pencils and things like that and I use this miniature ironing board to do so and as you can see here I did this because I don't have a real wall here and I couldn't hang a pegboard so that's where this hat came in really good for me to be able to prop it up and put it in this area and in this area also is a space where I use to work and do my smaller crafting items on this part of the desk here. 
And if I have a larger crafting project, I will just take it out in my sunroom because I have a larger table and that space will work better for working on larger um, projects. But pretty much this is my crafting space that I created and now have organized it. And it is mostly used for me to store all of my items and keep it organized. As I said, sometimes the projects are larger, so I will have to take them in my sunroom. And also, I am utilizing every space in here. I'm using the drawers in these desks to where I have some of my floral items stored. I have some of my items like my t-shirts if I'm working on t-shirts I'm storing some of my gift wrap items when I'm doing gift baskets and I have bins that are stored under the desk as well where I store my gift bags my uh, tissue paper and some more of a uh, tool and those type of things when I am doing gift wraps and that type of stuff And for all of you who are uh, crafters and you have these cutting machines, I had to come up with somewhere, I don't know where you guys are storing your cutting mats, but I just took a hook and put it on the side of the shelf and I just hooked them there. Um, I have so many of them because I do have two uh, cutting machines, so I decided that it was best to put them there. So pretty much guys, this is it. This is a tour of my crafting space that I took my former dining room and changed it into this crafting space. I hope this video gave you inspiration if you don't know what to do to um, and don't literally have a room designated because I really didn't, but I decided to just take my former living room Split it up from my formal dining, section it off, and uh, made it into a small office slash uh, crafting space. And here you will see that this is where I have most of my books and things like that, more of my office stuff over there. So guys, I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. So you can get notifications on all of my videos. Thanks for watching guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.